From KSMQ Television in Austin, this is On Cue, connecting interesting issues and interesting people. On Cue. And welcome back to On Cue. Hey, let's talk about pets. Where would we be in the world without our pets? Huh? I mean, they are a source of inspiration for us, care and feeding of another. And there are new studies out that show that uh, cats and dogs respond to their owners just like a child and a parent do. They, they've, they've shown that in research now. So we're going to talk a little bit about pets and pet care with our guests, Isabella Alston and Barry Rush, both from the Moore County Humane Society. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Oh, you bet. And uh, both volunteers, longtime volunteers involved with, with pets. And we talk about the Humane Society and in Mower County, I think it was last year or two years ago, the uh, new building. Two, 2013, I believe we started. 13, so we've, we've talked a lot about that, but maybe we talked a little over the whole mission of the Humane Society. So we wanted to do that today and just talk a little bit about more of the nuts and bolts of an organ that organization. Mm -hmm. What's really the purpose of the Humane Society? Well, I just happen to have our mission in front of me. <laughs> but uh, we, we, our mission is to provide food, vet care, uh, and shelter to all the homeless animals in the Moore County area. Uh, and that, uh, that entails a little bit more than just shelter. We also provide uh, uh, getting these animals prepared for adoption. Uh, try to socialize them, try to uh, make them feel comfortable with people. Um, and side, uh, side parts of our mission are to help educate local citizens in the responsibility of pet ownership, uh, getting their uh, pets spayed and neutered, uh, making sure that they have ID tags, uh, making sure that they're protecting them against uh, uh, ticks and other varmints. Mm -hmm. uh, we sponsor uh, spay and neuter programs uh, that people can bring their pets to in, at a lower cost. Uh, so th that's basically our mission. And uh, Isabella, this is, uh, it, it's something, uh, at least my family members who are involved, it's more, it's volunteering, but it's really a, a labor of love. They, they love working with animals. How did you become involved? Absolutely. Uh, I became involved by adopting first. I used to bug my fellow volunteer here quite a bit. And after adopting my first, what they call your portal dog, and I had time to it, then I start little by little getting more involved with the whole mission of rescuing pets. And everybody who loves the animal and is connected somehow to one will love to come and help us volunteer because it's really extremely gratifying to have this opportunity. And your organization, like many others, are it's volunteer driven. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, we, we, have, uh, we have now in Austin, Minnesota, with this new shelter, this is a large shelter, 9,000 square feet, and we have 180 animals housed there. And we're operating with an entire volunteer staff. We have no paid employees. And that is, that's a, quite a feat if you think about it. But just the organization alone, make sure yeah. you have people there and so on. Yes, it's, uh, it's sometimes uh, a constant battle of uh, developing your work schedule. <laughs> Do you need, are you always in need of volunteers? Always. Always. Do yes. they have to know? What, what kinds of experiences do they have to have? We are open to any volunteer, even the ones who don't have any experience prior, they will come along as they observe the older volunteers, they're more seasoned volunteers. There's always something new to learn as a volunteer. I mean, I'm one of the youngest volunteers from my group on, on the dog side and I learned so much in the past 40 many years and so. There's always a need and we are open to have as many volunteers as we can and uh, you don't need to have any experience with animals but just the will to, to volunteer your hours and yeah. help. It's uh, on the dog side, there, there's a, 
Well, in the cat side too. There's a there's a great need to uh, to come on a regular basis if you're volunteering. I mean, if it's once a week for for two or three hours once a week, or uh, if uh, several times a week, but come on a regular basis so you can get to know the animals. You've got to on the cats. They've got hundreds of cat, uh, 150 cats out there, so. I suppose you, it's more difficult to get to know each one, but uh, on the dog side, it's very important for us to develop an, uh, you know, a, a, a relationship. A relationship with these each you individual dog. Help them dogs. first learn how yeah, to be around people and so. Yeah, on. that's right, and uh, understand which dogs uh, can be handled this way, and which dogs can be handled that way, and which dogs get along with each other, and which dogs don't. We're talking to Barry Rush and Isabella Alston of the Moore County Humane Society. Uh, Isabella, how do animals even end up at a shelter? Many ended up by being picked up in the city by the pound. Um, they are mostly strays or dogs that just took a joy ride and those are the lucky ones that oftentimes get claimed before they even ended up in the Humane Society. Um, they're the sad surrenders because I believe that everybody who has to surrender a pet will have a hard time and um, there are many scenarios that can make a pet homeless. It's not much different than what some humans go through when they lose their shelter. Mm -hmm. They need a place that they can rely and that's where we try to fill in the need for the homeless and stray animals that we come across. The, about 80 percent of our dogs come from the city pound. The, the, pat, the, the system works like this. Uh, if, a community, if a dog is running or a cat is running astray in the city of Austin, uh, then uh, somebody notifies the police, a community services officer picks up that cat or, or dog, takes it to the pound, where it's uh, by city ordinance it is supposed to be, uh, give, they're supposed to be hold, held for 10 days giving the, any owner a chance to claim that animal. If they, if they don't claim it after 10 days, then the city is free to euthanize that animal. However, that's where we step in. When, if there, no owner claims the dog or cat, we take- That's where you come that, in. Yeah, we take that animal over to our facility where we give it a, a vet check uh, we uh, socialize it, uh, prepare it for adoption. So a lot of cooperation with the city. We have about a minute yeah. left. Talk about the walkathon. That's an important activity yeah. for yes. your organization. Isabella is going to be the, the walkathon is coming up this September. Is one of the many fundraisers that we do through the year. Is uh, the one that we do in the end of the summer, and uh, we welcome everybody who adopt a pet from us to bring your dog to walk and make a movement and make the city of Austin really aware of the need that we have to adopt and to be more responsible as pet owners so they don't have to end up in the Humane Society or in the city. So it's a fundraiser facility. or yes. just a walk? It's, no, it's a fundraiser. The people go out and they, and they solicit pledges from people. Oh, okay, and, that kind of thing. Yeah, and uh, okay. it's, a, it's our largest fundraiser, yes. You you're also uh, have a silent auction, yard sales? Yeah. We have meet and, meet and greets through the year. We have silent auctions. We do some yard sailing. We have uh, spaghetti dinner, uh, Valentine's Day. So we have several fundraisers through the year to help fund the organization. It costs us about $125,000 a year to operate the shelter, uh, and uh, that, uh, you know, that's, that's basically all comes from uh, fundraising. Well, we'll be watching for information on the walkathon coming right up. And thank yeah. you both so much. Thank yeah. you for having us. Isabella Alston and Barry Rush, volunteers, folks, <laughs> for the Moore County Humane Society. You can be one, too. Just head on out there. It's out by the airport. Check it out and uh, uh, some wonderful work out there and see some wonderful pets that become friends.
On Cue is a production of KSMQ Television in Austin, nonprofit public television.